top level officials from NATO and Russia are to meet on June the 2nd, the first exchange since Russia invaded Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula in late February. The deteriorating situation in Ukraine's two easternmost regions is likely to be high on the agenda. NATO's Secretary General made the announcement as Moscow withdrew about two thirds of its troops from Ukraine's border. Despite this, it's promised to bolster its troop presence in parts of Eastern Europe to counter any potential Russian threat. We have to adapt uh, to the new, the dramatically changed security situation uh, in Europe. And part of that is to strengthen collective defense. And to that end, we also need more visible NATO presence all over NATO territory. The crisis in Ukraine has reinvigorated NATO, a military alliance tasked with providing 28 nations, including several former Soviet republics, with large ethnic Russian minorities. Even its leader labelled the confrontation in Ukraine a game-changer. Despite Ukraine's absence from NATO's membership list, the organisation has bolstered hopes in Kiev's interim government that Russia will be deterred from sending in tens of thousands of troops it has available into Ukraine in order to, what it claims, protect Russian speakers from the fascists and anti-Semites in Ukraine's parliament. Although recent low-scale NATO military exercises in the Baltics are largely seen as superficial, the symbolism is clear. NATO is determined to show it can stand up against Moscow. In recent months, US troops have held land and air drills with their counterparts in the Baltics, despite NATO's lack of desire to intervene militarily to protect Ukraine. The alliance suspended most cooperation with Russia in April over its illegitimate occupation of Ukraine's territory. Question marks, though, have been raised over the future funding of NATO. In the nine years leading up to 2013, Central and Western countries cut defence spending by about 6.5%, while Russia's increased by 100%, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. Despite this, though, NATO, with better equipment and professional military, remains far more powerful than Russia on the global scale.